guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going. As you can see, I am up and moving. And I think that just says a lot. You know, yesterday I got a phone call and just received some information and just news that just didn't want to hear at all. And so it's just, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard um, being you know, far away from people and family and not being able to be there through the hard storms. And so um, I'll share more when I know more specifics than that. But just um, I know a lot can change in a week, in a few days. And so I don't want to share too much right now because I don't know what's going to happen just yet. So we'll wait on that. Just know that um, our family could use your prayers and just um, we know God and we trust God and we leave it and rest in Him. But we still feel the effects. We still feel the emotions. We still feel things. And so that's my day today. I'm just processing a lot, processing a lot. And so I know yesterday was kind of that way towards the end. And I'm like, okay, I just need to go to sleep. And I did and woke up today and I'm like, <sighs> today's a day you just want to stay in your bed all day all day and and you know what that's okay to do that and I feel like God gives me kids because you know what I, I have to keep going like uh, yes I'd love to stay in bed all day <laughs> I probably would choose to stay in bed for most of the days through a lot of things but I know that um you know what I have kids so I have to get up they have to eat they have to you know, do things. I have to take them places to be at work and do, you know, appointments, all that kind of stuff. And so he keeps you moving. You know, there's a time for rest and I definitely will get a rest. Don't, don't worry. I will get a rest and I will get time. I will get a time to do that. And so it's coming. And so I, that's my goal is to get done today so that I, I can. And so I will, I definitely will, but I know that, you know what, I still have to function. I still have to get up and do things. And so we're going to get there. So today's video is going to be a deep clean, a deep clean of my living room here. I've been working through my house, getting everything done. And as you can see, taking down the Christmas tree. Oh yes. The Christmas tree is finally coming down. I know I was going to do it during the week and then um, it just worked out better to get it done this weekend just because uh, it was easier to have the kids help to put it up in the garage because it goes up on the racks. It's a little bit heavy. So, okay. So is there a rhyme and reason to putting down your Christmas tree? No, just grab your ornaments and put them in the bin. This by far was probably my favorite Christmas tree this year, the way that we did it just with the little bows, the cinnamon ornaments and the berries and the pine cones and just a few wooden ornaments. I like the sim the simplicity of it. And we used to have just balls on it and I didn't have that very many on this year. So I really enjoyed it. So this is good. Just take everything down. If they're not, we don't have very many breakable ornaments <laughs> because over the years, I mean, way back in the beginning, we had all these tons of nice ornaments. And then as we had kids, you know, they knock them and break them. And it was like so much just trying to keep kids away from the Christmas tree, especially when you have little ones. So we very, we don't have, we have very rare, very rare amount of stuff from way back when. <laughs> Very rare. I think I just have like one or two ornaments from the beginning of our um, family. So this is good. Just put them all in a bin here. Pull out the picks and like everything is good. And then moving on to lights. Okay, what a messy job. I don't even know what we did with the lights this year, but yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> we went around and then we went up and down. Tomorrow, next year, I have to remind myself, don't go around the tree because it's harder to get off. Go more up and down and around. It's easier to take off, but it's good. So we just wrapped and wrapped. I was like, oh my goodness. And then they were tangly and I'm like, ah, um, I just took the top part off. It was a lot easier. The flock is definitely messy. I'm like, okay, I have to go out today to a party. So I need to <laughs> go take some uh, masking tape, you know, roll it on my clothes to get off all the the snow stuff but it's good i was like oh my goodness unwrap 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 so i had my little basket here it's sitting inside a wagon you're like why is it sitting in a wagon amy because we got this wagon when we got our shop back because it was on our list to get we got a little bit of extra money for christmas and i was like mm, this is a good thing so i obviously we don't need much the winter the kids have enjoyed putting each other in it pulling around the house you know <laughs> They're, they're older, but they're still fun. Kids don't mind. Throw the dog in there. and uh, But I just was like, hmm, I need to put my bin in here so I don't have to bend down and pick it up. So they'll, this is going to come in handy for outside. This is that same company that I got the shot back from. I showed you guys that on Monday, I think. So same company, good company, good quality and um, products. And so it just works good. It'll be nice for using it around the garden and um, like outside carrying things. Oh, I think it holds up to 500 pounds. So super heavy duty, good rubber tires. Oh yeah. And the sides go down and up. It's going to be a good thing. So I was excited for that. So that's going to go in the garage for um, use, you know, this next spring.
Okay, I've got a project here. Can you guess what it is? Jensen is gonna put this together. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. We're not gonna film him, but he is gonna put this thing together and uh, we will see what it, he says. It smell, what does it smell like? Tractor supply. Tractor supply. <laughs> so if you know what tractor supply smells like, you probably know it smells like rubber tires. <laughs> We're gonna see what he makes. Okay, Jensen finished putting this together. Look at this thing. It is, we're making, so we're, we're not making Maddie. Maddie is, Maddie's offering. Oh <laughs> She's so kind. She's like, listen, it's 500 pounds that will actually hold it. So this is gonna be a great, wag. was it hard putting it together, Jensen? Not really. Not too bad, nope, got it. Look at, these are nice because the doors, these all go down, right? I think mm -hmm. it is, but we just you don't, we chose now. Oh, I see you can put it down and have it down. And then these, you can put the sides down. Look at Maxine. Do you want to go in there, Maxine? Do you want to come? Do you want to ride in the wagon? <laughs> she, she's like, there you go, Maxine. You can ride in the wagon. put some, like, um, ball pits in here. In the... A ball pit, did you say? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, the you can ride in it. They would love it. Well, that's going to be fun. This is going to be nice for outside, carrying things to and fro. Look at that. We need one of these for outside carrying stuff. So Maxine's like, yes, I'm good right here. Fun. Thanks, Jensen. What's the handle look like? It's like a nice, oh, like, like nice comfy. That's a really nice. Stick. It's what? Hey, she likes like it. a That's so, oh, like a shepherd's stick, <laughs> like a staff. That looks really cool. Very good. Thanks, Jens. Thanks. We'll definitely be putting it to use when we're down working outside, carrying things up out to the pool because pushing the big giant um, wheelbarrow is a lot heavier. This will be easier to pull because everything's on incline in our yard. So this is going to work out. So getting the lights down. Oh my goodness, there's so many lights, so many lights, so many lights. So then I knew that one of the strands burned out. Remember we like, everything was working and then we just plugged it back in and then the bottom strand didn't work. So I was just checking which ones did not. So I think I have a box. I'll have to recheck when I'm putting everything away. I think I have a couple extra boxes of lights. I need to double check and if not, make myself a list to get one more package of lights for the tree next year. So it won't be a big deal just before we decorate. So this is good. So now <laughs> this way we can get the rest of the tree done and um, put it inside the big bags I got. I did, I wrapped it in plastic for a few years because it was cheap. Well, now they have great big bags that are inexpensive on Amazon. So I bought the bags they work a couple like got a little tiny holes in them but for the most part they hold it really well and stay nice in storage so this is good getting the tree done and gone I'm like huh I guess Christmas is over <laughs> oh yeah it's been over for a few months Amy or at least a month <laughs> so getting all done we will clean this up as the day rolls on okay so today's cleaning is going to be a little bit all over the place as you can see you know the Christmas tree was put away on one day got that put away and then I wasn't even filming like I, I just was up here this on the weekend and we had the containers and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep taking stuff down. But we were in the process of replacing all the outlets and the plugs. As you can see, they're all white now instead of like the cream and the white like we had before. So the power wasn't on like a lot, it was dark. So we just didn't have um, any light. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna put some stuff away. So as you can see, a lot of stuff is taken down decoration wise. There's still stuff, some stuff to put away with like my pillows and like this whole school table over here. There's a lot of stuff to be organized. So I'm doing things in stages and that is not normally how I like to do things but you know what just life's different you just do what you can do so so first thing dust dust and get the dusting down from the ceiling down and then we will continue on doing more but I'm like you know what it works it's like I'm gonna get here eventually it's gonna take me a few days to do it but that's what I have in my life so you just do it in a few days okay so since I don't have anything up on the mantle here I am gonna hang up my um picture or my not my picture but you know whatever this is the wall hanging so this was in my closet so just wiping it but you can tell there i had to wipe the wall where candle like you know the, the black from the soot of a candle got on the wall so just wiping that off there and then hanging it back up i was trying to think is this how high i usually put it but it's good i will again get to the decorations eventually we're gonna get there i'm not too worried about doing that i'm just gonna leave them empty and you know what but i've got a lot going on in the next few weeks so i figured by the time uh, i get done with what i gotta get done then it'll be time to decorate for spring so this little table right here, I kind of leave these books on all the time right here because this is what we use when we do our group time. We read our Bible together and then um, just our books that we're reading at this moment. So we have our read aloud book, our Wisdom in the Millers, a couple of devotional booklets, a couple of books on um, like just battlefield of the mind, keeping your mind in good places, and um, just our little uh, papers, just things that we go over with this family. So that's all right here. So this is just going to sit right here. And then over in the corner, I took that gray table that was in the dining room that I just moved for Christmas, and it's just over here. There's nothing on it. Again, we'll get the decorations and put that on there, but just gonna wipe it off so it's clean. And then we have our um, 
basket of blankets over here. These did get washed. That was one thing we did this weekend when it was sunny as I washed all the blankets. So I'm just gonna fold in here. We'll put them on the couches, but I have to carpet clean the couches and I will get to that. I don't know, I probably won't do it today. It'll be another day, but within the same video here. So I'm just gonna continue wiping stuff off. Okay, just clean up this. This is just where everything sat and accumulated and got thrown onto. So there's a few. I'm just make piles. Some are gonna go downstairs. There's some Christmas decorations on there. Um, now that we have our outlets all fixed, I'm gonna plug in my. I'm gonna plug in the pencil sharpener right here and keep it plugged in, and then sharpen these pencils. This is a great. I don't even know where we got this from. Someone must have sent it because I have no idea who did. But <laughs> it was funny because the kids and I were talking and we're like, we need a pencil sharpener, and I kid you not, like no one else heard me say that. It literally showed up like within a week, and I'm like that was really weird so I don't know <laughs> so if someone sent that let me know but it's great because it, it when you push the pencil in it literally you just let go of it and it goes in it sharpens as soon as it's done it comes back all by itself so it's like you don't have to hold it in there so great little pencil so I'm going to um, sharpen that and then I'm going to just kind of go through the piles here figure out what I have I have a bunch of stuff to put in my um, like bedroom and our you know extra book stuff but and keep out what we need for school right now just kind of clean it up a little bit because remember I had stuff in that my one by my front door. Well, now everything got moved to here. So we just got some rearranging to do, that's all. It'll be good. And then again, we'll decorate the top when, you know, eventually, but right now we're just gonna organize. I'm gonna need to carpet clean these couches and so I'm just gonna take the stick vacuum and kind of get the crumbs that fall in between. I'm not gonna take it completely off because I'm just gonna work around it. Maneuver them up a little bit and vacuum underneath. This has been a very good sturdy couch for us. The corner pieces right here and the end and over on the other corner, they have been pushed down so much from, you know, Maxine sitting on top and people smushing that corner. So I try to, the, the regular square ones I can kind of move around and put you know in different spots because where pe based on where people sit so it can kind of balance out the the smoosh factor so i need to get i think one of my viewers said just go get like fiber fill so i think about it i'm like i need to do that and i need to just fill basically fill the cushion with the fiber fill so i will definitely be doing that i just i thought about it. I'm like the girls just threw away some pillows i probably could have used pillow filling but it's good so i will get some eventually i'll make a note while i'm adding this video get some fiber fill so i just need to like kind of fill the corners up just because it gets smooshed down you can tell like this i bought the couch and like every single back piece obviously is not exact so some are a little bit firmer some are a little bit softer for the most part they're about the same but definitely the corner pieces are not as firm, I don't think, as the uh, regular square back pieces. So just need to vacuum, just vacuum with a stick to get out the crumbs and there wasn't a whole lot in there, a couple wrappers and pencils and things, but for the most part, pretty good. So I am going to get my carpet cleaner out and do the, or I don't know if you call it carpet cleaner because I don't have carpet, but vacuum, the carpet machine, shampooer machine, isn't that what it's called? So this is good, it works good. Just kind of clean everything off real good. I'll do a little bit of the back, the top where Maxine would touch and then just uh, where people will sit. I don't, I'm not gonna take it out and do every single cushion, the front and the back because we only sit on the top. So pointless to do the underneath and have it sit in the living room all day long, hoping to dry because today is a rainy day. And you know, that just doesn't do good for trying to dry a wet couch. Love this little, it's a Bissell. Bissell little green machine this has been great we've always had a carpet cleaner because we had carpets and then um it was just the push can that looked like a vacuum and then i got this when we got tile just to do the furniture and i love it it's small i definitely miss the big giant one because the you know this the little brush is like much bigger and wider but it's good it just takes a little bit longer but no big deal it's good enough to go through quick not a big giant thing to drag out it's just small and it works so it's good i'm just going to go through real light on it if you don't soak it too long if you don't suck up as much water it's going to take just as long to dry it
Now the corners of my couch is here in this corner and the other corner. I noticed that the red pillowcases have like bled onto the couch. I don't know what happened. I've had these for years, like a couple years and I've never noticed it getting on my couch. Well this year it bled through. So the corner has a little bit of red dye in it. So I'm going to have to kind of do it, see if it's completely out and I might have to scrub it a little bit, but I'm like, ugh. so red pillowcases going to the, um, not in my home anymore. Carpet clean. How often do you carpet clean your stuff? I remember back when I had little kids, like a lot of little kids, I feel like we cleaned our couches every month or every month, about every two months. They're just, you know, little kids are dirty, sticky fingers, mess. That's what happens. So now they're older, it doesn't get that dirty. There is a reprieve, mamas. If you think you're cleaning constantly, it does get better. It's just a different kind of clean. I don't have to go and like scrub the walls as much anymore and wipe off all the furniture and the sticky fingers and, you know, the windows. And I mean, I still have that stuff dirty, but not the extreme that it used to be. <laughs> so it's good. So I got a brush out here. I'm going to scrub this little corner because I still see it's a little bit pink. I just put some laundry detergent on it. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can just get a wet and scrub it. Suck it up. See if the red comes off. I probably have to get some like, I don't know, like OxyClean or something. We're going to see. Oh, I should get my Norix powder. That's what I should get out. Let me try this and see if it works. So I did go get some Norix. My laundry detergent with a little bit of water. I'm going to kind of brush this in there and let it sit. And then I'll try scrubbing it off. Okay, that took out the stain. So the Norex powder and water took it out. So that's good. <laughs> Did anybody else see me drop that container of water? I tilted upside down. Yeah, there's water comes off the top, Amy. I know. Yes, I know. I did not pay attention. So it's good. So I'm going to do our ottoman here. Just move our puzzle thing off. We're still working on the kitty cat puzzle. <laughs> we'll get there and get it done in the, the pillows. I'll definitely take the pillow covers off and uh, get those off so they don't stain. Maybe they stain the underneath pillow. We're going to have to see. This um, ottoman, this has got a waterproof like cover. It is like, it beads off the water. So this does not even get dirty. I love the cover they put on this. It's obviously not as soft as the couch, but it's still like, you really don't notice the difference in it. So cleaning this is easy. And then I can't forget to clean up Maxine's little um, stairs here. That's definitely dirty. Dirty for Maxine, <laughs> her little puppy paw. So just clean it off. So I cleaned this room the other day, but um, I didn't get to carpet clean because I didn't want to pull out the carpet cleaner for that. So I'm just going to clean it off. The kids sit here, they love. This is probably everyone's new favorite spot to sit, the window seat. When I was a kid, I always wanted a window seat in my home. Our windows were up higher because it's an older home, 
but I always wish for like in his log cabin, I just wish for like the lower windows and to have a seat so you could just sit and look out your window. Something about that is just peaceful and calm. And I guess it's like sitting outside, but if you can't sit outside because you got animals barking around you or, you know, raining or whatever, or hot or whatever the reason, it's just nice to sit and look out the window. So even if it's staring at the side of a mountain, they don't mind. <laughs> I'm staring at my pillows. The last little while, I'm like, I haven't loved my pillows on my couch. And I felt like you just need to have pillows on your couch. But do you need to have pillows on your couch? I feel like when we have those on our couch, it's one thing that we just kind of push aside. Like, rare, I mean, we do, it's not like we always use them. We do, but it's not like we come up here and sleep on the couch or anything. So once in a while, if you're laying against it, it's nice to have. But I'm like, can I just put throw blankets on the sides of the couch there? Hmm, so I think I'm gonna take these and put them down in the garage and kind of see how I do. I have to get new covers because these covers are definitely very worn and old and I've had them for a few years now. So, but I'm just like, do I even need them on the couch? So let's take them off the couch because the couch is fluffy enough. It's like squishy. The one downstairs isn't super fluffy so I can see why we'd probably keep cushions for that. But this one up here is super soft. So I'm thinking no pillows. Let's do something crazy. Let's take all the pillows away. <laughs> so I'm gonna take those off, put them downstairs, then we'll go see how it is. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do next is take my vacuum and just use the stick attachment and go around the corners of my living room. I'm actually gonna do it all over my house because the robot vacuums do a good job. They do the floor, but they're round. So they don't always get in the very, very corners of things. And I only have one vacuum, I think, that goes under my furniture now. So I think that being able to just get under there, we'll go with the stick and suck any kind of little dust bunnies out. Dust bunnies. Lunette. You guys remember Lunette the Clown, Big Comfy Couch? Anybody else see that? Watch that show? We love that show when kids were little. <laughs> Big Comfy Couch on PBS. <laughs> so anyways, the dust bunnies living in the couch. So just cleaning that all up. I'm just going to go around and suck up and get the dirt around. Definitely a lot of stuff under my couch. I can hear it sucking up little tiny Lego pieces is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Getting it all cleaned up, this is good. And then I'm gonna go through my hallway because I don't think I did this when I deep cleaned over here before. So I'm just gonna go through and um, just go around the corners, go around the corners and get everything cleaned up. I'm going to my desk here too. The vacuum doesn't go under here as well. So these windows are good to keep clean. And then you notice fingerprints on these windows more than anything else because the sun shines in from these, especially since there's no leaves on the trees outside. So the sun comes beaming in through here. And so if there are fingerprints, you see that I'm like, ugh. So I'm not gonna clean the outside because it's not that bad. I'm gonna clean the outside of the other window by the deck because that does get dirty from the dogs. Just wiping with a regular microfiber cloth with some water and then using a window cloth to dry it up. Gets it clean, no chemicals. So the window, cleaning it outside, it's uh, hard to tell where the little smudges are and stuff because it's rainy and dreary outside. So I've kind of looking around making sure that I get everything marked off here, but it's good. I'll be able to tell tomorrow when it's all sunny outside. So clean the windows is gonna, good. I always forget to do the door over here, so I'm gonna make sure that I do my door. So just cleaning the windows over here, just wiping them and then I'm like, you know what, I'm right here, I might as well start dusting this area. So just dusting off this shelf. I just moved this, I turned this this way. It was the other way, I just turned it because I moved Maxine's food back over behind. The couch was pushed back pretty far, so I couldn't put her food like behind the couch because it was not much walkway. But now that that's gone, I put it back over there. So then I just moved this and turned it so I can see a little bit better. Added my printer over here because now I can set up my Wi-Fi over on my little white table over here next to my desk. And then just wiping everything down, wiping everything down and getting the dust off, it's a good thing to do. Since I'm here every day, my desk stays pretty much clean. It's not too bad, it does get a little messy inside. I'm just gonna go through real quick and pick it up. It 
So just going through and cleaning it real quick, just straightening. It's not that messy. You know, just putting things where they go. That's all. It's like I said, I don't, I use this all the time, so it stays fairly clean on everything. So now I'm just gonna wipe down real quick. Oh, I found my candlesticks. I put those in under here. Those go on the wall in the back of the living room. I will decorate eventually. Eventually I will decorate. I'm not too worried about doing it right away. A couple weeks I'll get to it and that's okay. I'm not gonna have any parties, just having you two people watch my living room. So you're just gonna have to have it be undecorated for a little while. Let me wipe up my chair, I forgot to do that. That's gonna be my decoration over here because these, this black vase, I used it for Christmas and it will have stuff for the springtime. But again, just gonna set on here. It's okay, nobody sees it but me. So my living room is dead, I'm feeling good with it. There is, um, now I just have to let the couches dry. So I'm just gonna make sure I turn the heat uh, up a little bit, get it warmer in here today. Turn the fan up because it's on a little lower speed and so it can dry today, hopefully within a couple hours. And then, um, then I'm gonna do a good mop on the floor. That's it in here and I feel like this room is good. I will decorate it again when, Time is right, today is just cleaning it. Clean it, that's okay. You can decorate a different day, decorate a different day. Today is just clean the living room day and then I'll get it in order. That's a good thing. So I'm gonna get the vacuums going and then I'm vacuuming the entire floor because I'm gonna be heading out here in a little bit and um, when I get home, I can mop all the floor, so. Okay, I'm back now for my appointment. So <laughs> I came back and I'm like, all right, what am I gonna start at? So I asked Brooke and I said, do you think I should leave the pillows and take them off the couch? She goes, just get rid of my mom. So I'm like, okay. But I thought, why don't I open them and take out the inside instead of buying the fluff, just repurpose the fluff from here. And then I didn't realize they were all down feathers. Oh my goodness. So this turned into quite the mess, but that's okay. I can vacuum it afterwards. But that helped hugely. That puffed that cushion up a lot. So now I'm looking at all the cushions. I'm like, I need to look at all of them and restuff a few. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That is perfect. I feel like that filled those pillows really well. I probably could shove more. I just don't feel like doing that. <laughs> but that just made a huge difference. I feel like that poofed my cushions right out. I'm like, wow. So now I'm gonna, I'll save the other pillows. I was gonna um, pitch them, but I'm gonna actually just put them down the garage. And then you know what? In six months from now, if I wanna do this again or need to, I'll have the filling without having to buy it. Perfect. So now let's just vacuum up all the feathers. Kids are gonna have a quick lunch here. This is the pizza crust that I made yesterday. Just gonna throw this together, yes, and the dirty grate of the air fryer. That's okay, they're gonna live. I promise it's gonna cook right off. You're gonna be good. If you go eat at a restaurant, uh, you're eating a lot more dirt than you're eating in your own home. So I think we're gonna live. I'm gonna make just pizzas real quick, pepperoni, cheese, and put them in the air fryer. So just gathering up the fragments, using up the rest of that mozzarella cheese for the pizza, so that's done. Pepperoni I'll throw in the freezer, and we'll definitely have that. I should've got more of that pepperoni now that I realize my kids really do like that. So maybe we'll head back to our local um, store this week or next week and see. We'll see, if not, no big deal. There'll always be another deal. And then the um, big container of spaghetti sauce, we're gonna be using this this week for gathering fragments for probably pizza, or not pizza, but spaghetti this weekend. So I'm gonna just put this in the refrigerator and that's good, throw those in the air fryer. Okay, I'm now gonna move on to dinner here because um, I want to finish my day. It's been a long day and I'm just ready to be done. So this is a real simple, easy recipe from um, the Lovely Season Eats and Treats cookbook that I have. I have it linked below, real good, from a good friend of mine. Um, really good, chicken and dumpling casserole. It's so good. I'm obviously going to always do a little bit different because this is chopped onions, chopped celery. 
I'm not doing that today because I don't feel like chopping onions. I don't feel like I don't even have any celery. So I'm just going to use minced onions and celery seed. That works. I'm going to mix this up real quick here. Uh, the only difference, I'm going to add a little container of my homemade cream of chicken soup because it does have a lot of veggies in it and tastes delicious. And we're going to put chicken in here, frozen chicken. And I'm just going to let that cook in there and put that in a casserole dish. And then I'm going to mix up some dumplings from some dumpling mix that we have and put that on top. And the only thing I'm not doing is adding, I usually add peas or some kind of vegetable in it. I'm gonna leave that separate on the side, just in a glass dish, because some kids don't like it mixed in there. I'm like, you know what, they'll probably eat it more if I have it on the outside, and it's okay. The ones that want it can pour it on their food as well. So just mixing this up real quick is simple. Simple, simple, simple. Put it in the oven, bake it. I don't have to think about it because I have to leave and go pick up Jaden from work, and then um, I don't have to think about doing dinner anymore tonight. Look at Maxine down here. She knows when her mama's having a hard day today. She she's just follows me everywhere I go. I literally, I'm moving. I'm doing a lot of stuff today to get done. And she's just following me from room to room to room. I'm like, she just waited for me to sit down and, and uh, be my therapy dog. <laughs> it's all good. We're going to mix this up real quick. almost done with the biscuit mix. This, remember I got those, I don't know, months ago. I got like, they were like a dollar a box for those and I've been trying to use them up, use them up, use them up. Finally to the end. These dinners the last few days have been just a little bit busier and you know what? They're turning out and the kids actually like them. <laughs> so not doing too bad. Um, just gonna throw this in a casserole dish. Mix up the biscuit, mix with milk and um, I'm gonna add Old Bay seasoning to it and just mix it and plop it on top, put it in the oven. Easy, put the vegetables in a glass dish with the lid, put those in the oven or the microwave. I think I'll just put them in the oven with it and then um, I'm done. Okay, so this is dinner. Put it in the oven. I think you've seen this before. Literally bake it for about a half hour, 40 minutes till the biscuits are crispy. Serve it with the vegetables. That's dinner tonight. We have applesauce we can have with it as well. I am just gonna call it a night. So tomorrow's a new day and we'll have a good day tomorrow. So you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow with another video. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.